All right, guys, I'm back. I am super charged up about this side-by-side -side comparison because over here, we have the gravity blanket. $269 is what I paid for that in order to test it. It is by far the highest price blanket and uh, it frankly took two weeks to ship. So I'm not sure why it took two weeks to ship, but Luxom ships within 18 to 24 hours, just to give you an example. Um, but let's go through kind of what this blanket is. For $270, I was expecting for it to be the best quality possible. And we make our blankets essentially with the best fabrics. Best, I, don't even, I don't know how you can construct a better blanket than we have using 400 thread count cotton, 300 thread count bamboo, super high quality fabrics, the best in our construction. So I've been charged up to see what you get when you spend over $100 more for a similar blanket than Luxon. So let's dive into it and see what this gravity blanket is all about. So first of all, this was the only color they had. This is like a bright blue. And it's frankly, they were sold out. At $270 a blanket, gravity was sold out. That's how good they must be at marketing. Um, so let's look at the construction first. Um, so this is the basic construction. They've got some plush in there. But again, let's go and look at the beads. These are big beads. You can see them, you can hear them for $270 and they all sag to the bottom, which means when you put this on you, this is what's on your body. Big, squishy poly pellets. This is the cheapest construction you could do. Large poly pellets. For $270, you'd think that they would probably put a little more time and effort into making a higher quality blanket. But this is what's gonna be on your body because this is down right here. Here's another one. On the bottom, lift it up, turn it over. Large beads. And what happens when you go like this in your sleep? The beads all go to the bottom. Nothing on the top. Big bean bag on the bottom. That's what happens when you turn in your sleep or the blanket. It's basically a hacky sack in each pocket. So you're basically sleeping with a bunch of hacky sacks. Now let's just look at weight bunching. The fabric is okay. I mean, it's microfiber. Um, the stitching, I, I frankly don't like because it doesn't make it feel as smooth. Whereas Luxom is very velvety, smooth, soft, a little bit more luxurious. Roughly about the same quality cost um, if you compare it to our Minky. If you get into our 300 thread count bamboo or our 400 thread count cotton, we basically blow this quality away. Again, for probably more than $100 less if you buy the same size blanket more than $100 less, you could still probably get, I'm pretty sure right now with our prices, essentially the most premium fabrics we have for $100 less than this. Now weight bunching, another thing people don't look at. You go like this and you see how much the weight bunches. No weight, no weight, no weight, no weight, no weight, no weight. It's all the way in the center. Right here is where I feel some beads, right there. So look at where that is. That's right here. So it's basically in the center of the blanket. So one of the biggest complaints is weight bunching. When you pick it up like that, where does the weight go? By the cover. And with this, basically fails that test. It comes completely in the center. So really when you look at the guts of this blanket, this is pretty much the cheapest fabric you could do. Micro, micro fiber or, or minky. That's why we price our minky versions less than the bamboo or the 400 thread count cotton. But this is also large poly pellets and some basic, probably polyester filling, I'm pretty sure. Now the inside is the cheapest construction you could do as well. Um, so really the guts of this blanket is pretty much cheap. I mean, this is, this should probably sell for maybe, you know, low hundreds. But I think they probably put a lot of time and effort and energy into having a big staff and marketing and making it. Um, I know they were one of the first ones, I believe, with the Kickstarter campaign. So they've built a name, but they haven't really iterated the product. I mean, maybe this was a good product when weighted blankets, you know, weren't around. But, you know, we got products like this now. Looks home. You pick it up. First of all, you can't even feel the beads. They're one millimeter glass beads. You can't even tell. So this is an 18 pound blanket 
and you can't even feel beads. They don't even exist. And then when you pick it up, there's no weight bunching at all. There's just as much down here as there is up here. And again, when you pick it up from the side, here, the weight is right here, right by my finger. Maybe an inch, half an inch, it goes down. Not even close to, like, essentially the entire blanket where the weight goes with the gravity. And then much more premium fabrics, um, construction. Also, a huge thing is our inner blanket. This is actually three, 233 thread count cotton. This is very premium. It ensures over time there's no bead leaking because the density of the fabrics is much stronger when you have 233 thread count. There's more threads um, going up and going you know, left and right. So the X and Y axis threads creates a stronger thread density, which prevents any issues. This feels a lot more durable from, as a fabric, from, from a fabric standpoint than this. This actually isn't bad, but ours certainly is higher quality with 233 thread count cotton. This is not cheap. We pay a fair amount of money for this inner and having the quality of this inner. So I'm not sure how they're charging $269 because this is by far, by far a superior product. We charge a fair price for pretty much the highest quality weighted blanket you could get. This really is marketing. You know, no one's really, all the reviews you see are basically paid reviews for them, a lot of them. So you're not seeing this. You're not seeing the guts. This is what you're getting. You're laying with hacky sacks of poly pellets on your body for $270. Um, so just wanted to do that review. I was super charged up. I was either expecting it to be like the best way to blanket ever or basically kind of a complete fail. And I think it is the latter. So just wanted to, again, expose weight of blankets. It's not about the brand. It's not about the size, the weight, the price. You really got to understand what you're getting and get into the detail. And I hope that these side-by-side -side comparisons help you guys. Thanks.